The Samaritan Community Center provides food and resources to people who are struggling to get by. Now, new attend leaders there tell us they've seen a big increase in how many people and families are coming to them for help. They say it's all due to their new larger facility, the Memorial Day weekend tornadoes and rising prices. 5 News reporter Lauren Spencer shows us how they're keeping up. People were facing such uncertainty so we can be a place that provides certainty. Since the new Samaritan Community Center opened up a year ago in Rogers, they say they're now serving 56% more people. Get your groceries, get your food, sit down, talk to a social worker. Their space is about 2,800 square feet larger and in a more populated area. So Chris Kerner, director of program operations, says those could be some reasons for the spike, along with inflation. It's not only the food costs that are going up, but housing costs are going up. But he attributes most of the growth the center is seeing to people needing help after the May tornadoes, which hit families right in their backyard. Tornado hit and we were seeing 40 first time families. We had 210 first time families in the first three or four weeks. Kerner says the influx of people isn't weighing them down. It's fueling their mission to help even more. It's because that 56% increase in people that we're serving comes with a commensurate cost and we had to get creative with things. But we're still handing out as much food as we can. We're still doing the same quality of meals that we can. This area of Walnut Street is still seeing the impacts from the tornado. The scars are lingering, which is right where the Rogers Samaritan shop sits. It finally reopened just a few weeks ago after being closed for 12 weeks. It was heartbreaking to see total sheetrock work to um, new paint, new fixtures. Um, our flooring had to be completely redone. The organization's two thrift stores fund a third of the center. We were 12 weeks without one of our single biggest sources of revenue. Amanda Bond, director of retail operations, says they continue to help while cleaning up from the tornadoes themselves. It was 12 long weeks of hard, hard labor and lots of cleanup. That first day we had um, we had probably 200 people lined up outside waiting to come in at 10 o'clock when we opened. And no matter the neighbor's circumstance, they're always aiming to bring hope. Northwest Arkansas is resilient. People care. People really care about the community. So that was a beautiful thing to see. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News.